Hi everyone, it's Gina, and I thought for my first video back on YouTube, I would do a room tour. Now as you walk into my room, this is what you see, the six Alex drawer units that are there for Ikea. And I'm going to pan around all the way to the right, and we're going to start there with what is in that section of the room. My room is L-shaped, as you can see, it goes back over there, and then comes out this way. And we are in the basement of my house, but I live in a split level, so I do have windows. So there are my windows. I don't use them for light very much because it's still dark down here, but they are windows. So let me pan around to the right of my room, and I will get started there and show you what is going on. Okay, so if you come into my scrap room and you pan around to the right, then you will come to my sewing station. On the top shelf there, there are some sewing kits and a gift box that Stu got me for Christmas. There was a uh, stitch fabric in it, and you guys know I'm a big stitch fanatic, so uh, I have that little box up there left. And then in the other boxes that are on that top shelf, like I said, are sewing kits. On the second shelf is a bunch of decorative items. I have some old spools, some knitting needles that we don't use anymore. I have some, let's see, a little music box with a sewing machine on it, an old iron, and a felt kit that I've never opened. And then you have my sewing table. I have two sewing machines. One I use for fabric, that's this one here, and one I use for paper. There are patterns in there. And then I have my yarn winder right there, which I still haven't figured out how to use. This here is sewing supplies, needles and thread and things of that sort. The thread that is on the top there is not actually for sewing. That's embroider embroidery thread, and I use that in my scrapbook layouts. Underneath that desk, there are six of these little cardboard boxes. These two have Stu's etching. He does glass etching, and in those two boxes there are the things that he needs for glass etching. And all of the other ones, I'm not going to pull the chair out, but there are four others. And that little section right there is off fabric. So that is the sewing station. Right next to the sewing station is my closet. We took the doors down because they were taking up space and I don't need them. So on that top shelf I have a griddle, I have a toaster oven, I have a crock pot and my heat gun. And I use the toaster oven for clay projects, I use the crock pot for resin projects, and I use the griddle and the heat gun for encaustic painting. And then on the other two, uh, what are they called? The shelves, yes. On the other two shelves are just scrapbooking um, binders and things of that sort. There's my mannequin for when I like to pretend that I know how to sew, which I don't. And then down here in the bottom of the closet is all of my miniatures. So I build miniature houses and make miniature furniture and all of my supplies that I need for that is down there and also some canvases are down in the bottom of that closet as well. So if you go left from the closet you'll have this little wall here. On that wall is my clock and it's wrong so don't look at it. It's, uh, it's about an hour off. Someone didn't change it for the time change but the time change is coming up again so we'll go ahead and it'll be right at that point. Um, it's a little uh, needle and thread clock that I got while we were on vacation. I couldn't pass it up. I had to have that. And then I have an old ladder here and what's draped over my old ladder is my stitch fabric and my stitch book bag sits there. And then in that metal, galvanized metal container is just other fabrics that I'm going to use for sewing projects. My goal for 2020, my goal for 2019 was to learn how to knit. And now I have some basic skills in knitting. And my goal for 2020 is to learn how to sew. And I haven't started yet. So I'll get on that eventually. Here's my paper binder here on that shelf and then on the bottom shelf are my tools my drill my hammer things of that sort Stu bought me my own set because he was sick of me stealing his so I have all of my own tools now and then if we pan to the left of that is this expedite unit and I will go over now and show you what is in that. So if you look at my expedite unit it is I believe they were still called expedites when I got both of mine 
Um, they're called something else now. On the top shelf of that, on the very top, are all of my flowers. Prima, Kaiser Craft, Blue Fern Studios, Making Memories. Lots of flowers. I went on this binge of buying flowers for a while. And they are all up there. And then on this first shelving, first shelf, I have two there and there that's all card making these two shelves right here these two cubby holes are stamps and that in there is for art journaling it's just like pages i tore out of magazines and things like that on the third shelf are old cigar boxes and old wine like these down here they're old wine containers and i get them at flea markets and yard sales and auctions and things of that nature and i don't know what i'm going to put in them they're empty right now but i really like the look of them so i went ahead and bought them and then in that center thing are boxes from michael's that i got at a yard sale and the people who owned them before me started to paint them black and then stopped and they, that's the way they were when I bought them but I'm going to paint them another color since my room is white and blue probably one of those colors in those five cubbies is all stamps and what my goal is is to get them down to one layer right now there are two of the refrigerator trays sitting here on, in those three cubbies and my goal is to get them down to like this so I'm going to be doing some purging of those acrylic stamps in these bins are all of my punches and then my heater of course because you guys know my husband keeps it cold in here so I have to have my heater especially since we're um, halfway underground. In those two white bins I have my uh, specialty cardstock so like over transparencies, vellum, it's all my 12 by 12 specialty cardstock and in those three containers are just more you can't see the third one because the the heater is blocking it but in those three containers there it's more um, art journaling and things like that so that is my first expedite and now I'm gonna go around to the left again and show you what's over there so if you go to the left of my expedite you come to the laundry room and that's very convenient for me if I'm down here scrapbooking then I can do laundry at the same time I really like that up on that, that shelf there is more of those old boxes. I have two travel easels. And again, those boxes don't have anything in them, but I just love them. And these are old sewing uh, cabinet drawers, which I also love. And then over there is my paper scorer and my jelly plates. A picture of Stu and me. And then on top of these six Alex cubes are this right here is my uh, flare so I keep them in these jewelry containers I got them at a yard sale for a dollar for all four of them and I just put my flare these are like for they hold beads but I just went ahead and put all my flare in there and then I can just pick up the trays and look at all that all I have and see what I want to use this board here is something that I want to use to take pictures of my future layouts this box is stuff that I'm gonna send to my friend Shelly Underneath there are things that need to go back in my scrap rack, and there is my scrap rack. My scrap rack has brads in it, it has bling in it, it has chipboard in it, it has enamel dots in it, chipboard, all those sorts of things. I really like going through it and just, oh more flare. I really like going through it and just flipping through and seeing what I have. And I actually just bought the extender um, for this, so I'll be able to add even more stuff into it. Wouldn't it be nice to just have this? I think about that sometimes. Um, because as you go around and you see this room, it's kind of crazy. No one in their right mind needs this many scrapbooking supplies. I've been scrapbooking for 12 years, and I've just amassed this immense collection in that time and there are times when I get bonuses at work and I go out and buy scrapbook supplies or things like that I don't want anyone to comment I don't have any credit card debt we pay all our all of our bills everything is taken care of from that standpoint um, so don't worry about my financials when you see my room everything is paid for by, with cash my husband doesn't believe in credit and you know all of our bills are paid because if all of our bills weren't paid and I went out and bought scrapbooking supplies my husband would murder me or at least divorce me so we won't be having that 
In this little shelving unit, I have my collection of miniature tea sets. This one is Noah's Ark, which I think is really cool. And then just my miniature tea sets. There's two monkeys that um, I used to collect monkeys. I don't anymore, but those are special to me. Hey, look, it's Stitch. And then another uh, miniature tea set. And then if we go over here, here are my ink sponges. I haven't upgraded to the round ones yet because the square ones still work for me. I haven't bought scrapbooking supplies in quite some time. So a lot of my supplies are old. So uh, so I haven't upgraded to the circle, the circle ones yet. These are still the square ones. They work for me. I'm not going to upgrade them, but they sit there on my little rotating thing. There's some, some, what is that? Stamp pad back there. There's some silver little cubes, not cubes. There's some silver um, jars back there that don't have anything in them. Clorox wipes are super important because nothing gets paint off like Clorox wipes. Mm -hmm. And then I have this little recollection um, drawer unit here. The first drawer, I don't like these because they don't sit on their own tracks the drawers just sit on each other and I hate that um, I don't like these but I keep it um, I don't get in here very often I have a bunch of binder clips why I have that many I have no idea in the second drawer I'm not gonna put well I can pull it out but it's a pain these are all of my swatches um, that project didn't last very long but there they are and then in the bottom drawer it's empty and then if we pan back I'm going to go through all of the surface supplies. I'm not going to go through all the drawers. I will do that in a separate video. So I'll take the drawers and cut them down into certain um, sections. And then I will just go through the drawers. I saw Mercy Tierra Tracy do that. And I thought that was a good idea to give you a quick overview of the room. And then to go through and do a more specific uh, video to do the room tour. So that's what I will do. I will go through all of these drawers. If you're interested in a more in-depth review of my room, I'll go through all the drawers and post that video in a bit. In the center of my room, I have the, these two IKEA tables pushed together. Stu uses them when he comes down to craft. When I have friends over, they scrapbook here. I'll scrapbook on one side and they'll scrapbook on the other. I will show you where I actually scrapbook. It's not on this these tables but um, they're good to have and then down below there that is the paper organization project that is going on so that's just so I have the stamps and I have the paper that I'm working on organizing so the paper will get done first and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with those stamps underneath that table there are three suitcases Two of them are older suitcases. I don't know if you can see them, but two of them are older suitcases. I have fabric in there. That pink suitcase under there, I take with me when I want to scrap on the road. And it has a bunch of supplies in there that I can use when I travel and I want a scrapbook. On the wall to the left of the door, I have these old suitcases. They hold my all my clay working, all my clay working equipment. And they, um hold fabric and they hold my miniature tools and things like that so there there are things that I don't get in very often but I love that storage with the old suitcases and I buy old suitcases whenever I see them uh, don't look in the in the hallway we're working out there um, on this top shelf here above that oh look at this I'm gonna learn how to crochet because I want to make these little Avenger figures so I need to learn how to crochet so I can make them in this refrigerator uh, container there, I have word stickers, and then there's Captain America. And then up in there are alphabets that don't fit in my current alphabet storage, and I will show you that. And then also on that wall is this shelf, these shelves that Stu put up for me. Um, on the top two shelves are my mason jar collection, is my mason, mason jar collection. And then I have all journals on the third shelf. On the fourth shelf, I have glue sticks. I have more journals. I have two old um, sewing table drawers up there that have my flower frogs in them, and that one is empty. And then in there is like office supplies, staples, batteries, 
uh, rubber bands, um, things like that. If you want, well, I can go through and show you what these are. So let's see up here. In the first drawer are just like travel containers. And sometimes I'll use them to put paint in or something like that. If I have paint left over from a project. In this, These are not very well organized. In the second drawers I have eye hooks. I have magnets and Velcro. And I have staples. That's what's in that drawer. In this bottom drawer are these command hooks. All of my command hooks and what goes with that. And then these um, file folder tag label things. And then in the upper drawer here, I'm going to pull it down so we can see. I have um, push pins, I have batteries, and I have these little flags that go. I was doing planning. Um, I'm not much of a pl paper planner, but at one point I thought I would keep a bullet journal, so I bought those, and they hang out in there. In this drawer, rubber bands, like I said, um, magnets, and whiteouts. In this drawer, we have clips, D-rings, tape, some pencil holders. Let's see. I don't open these very often, so I'm even learning what's in them. Binder, rings, more D-clips. In this one, whoa! In this one, I don't really know. That's all of the stuff from all of my IKEA units. That was for something I owned, but I don't remember what it is. And suction cups in there. I don't remember what I owned that took those. But I owned something, and I've since gotten rid of it, that those went with. And then in this one, I have paper clips. I have things for my pegboard. And then more of my IKEA furniture paraphernalia. Because if you buy IKEA furniture, you get lots of stuff like that. And that won't go back. Okay, so some binders here that I keep inventory of my supplies in. I got these. There's nothing in them, but I thought they were super cool. I got them for a dollar, three of them for a dollar at a yard sale. And I thought they would be nice things to hold. I'll show you where the third one is. But these are right here. Back there is a paint swatch um, book. So I keep that if I want to use those on layouts. Here are just three more wood, um, what do you call them? Wood boxes that I keep. There's my Cameo down there. It's got stitch scissors, scissors. It's got stitch stickers on it. Down here are wallpaper sample books. I got all of them for $20 at a yard sale. So of course I had to buy them. This is my Curio. And this um, drawer unit here are all of my buttons. Now don't say anything about my button collection. It's quite crazy. I go through these phases like I did with the flowers. My buttons are all arranged by color. I go through these phases where I will buy all buttons. I'll buy all flare. I'll buy all enamel dots. And then I amass this huge collection. And um, then I move on to something else. There's my curio. Uh, let's go through these drawers real quick. I can show you them. In the first drawer, I have pastel pencils, I have ink tents blocks, I have some aqua color crayons, I have my neo colors, and I have some water colors that I've never used. Yeah. Someone on the um, on YouTube suggested buying those, so I bought them. I never used them. That's what's in that drawer. In this drawer, uh oh, we've got a problem going on here. There we go. Oh, my Prima. My Prima water soluble oil pastels is holding up. Um, we got more watercolors in here. This um, drawer is a lot. Some of it is mine, a lot of it is my kids. Um, I let them come in here and play in here. So I got some of these. These are just. Um, like pastels that the kids can play with. Here's some more pastels the kids can play with. These are the 
just stuff the kids can play with. Here's some wa more watercolor things. More watercolor. Lots of watercolor in here. And then in this one, we have drawing pencils. We have acrylic paints. Are these acrylic? No, these are watercolor paints. Um, we have some more oil pastels. We have, you gotta have Crayola crayons. We have my colored pencils in here. In this drawer is all acrylic paint. I even still have some Jenny Bolin. I'm going to have to get rid of that. It's probably not even any good anymore. Here are my golden high flow acrylics. And here I have some furniture polish because if you're going to do art journaling, you don't want your hand your pages to stick together you buy furniture polish and then here's stencil paint stencil stuff in there and then down here is the kids drawer colored pencils pens crayola crayons i have my own the kids have their own except that i think mine is only a 64 they have the 96 box i might have to change that and some watercolors there's those books i told you about and then going over to this drawer unit in here, we have Dazzlers. What's the other one called? Dazzlers and Textures. I can't remember the Shimmers makes these. I colored them all. I covered them all up with what is in them. But that's Shimmers makes those. And then I have my Art Alchemy acrylic paints, which I love. Finna Bear makes it. I will buy it. I love her. Then here, more shimmers. These are, um, these are actual shimmers. Um, from, is it from Glimmers? What is it? Oh, from Shimmers. And then we have the Inklings. These are all watercolor. And then the Creamies. I don't even know if they make these anymore. Like I said, it was a phase. I had to have them all, so I bought all of them. Here's some shimmers. All kinds of stuff like that. In here I have milk paint, some more acrylics that don't fit in the other one. I bought some of this wax um, from Art Alchemy and um, the Prima collection. I think it's from Finnebear. It is. So I bought, they were on clearance at Michael's, so I bought them, but I haven't used them yet. Then in this drawer is all my alcohol inks, my crackle, um, my distress stains, my crackle paste, alcohol inks, my uh, Dr. Martin's watercolors. I have some inks in here. So Bombay inks from Dr. Martin's. That's all in that drawer. Down here is Dilutions paints and also some chalk paints. And then in the bottom drawer, we have gold foil and then the kids' acrylic paints that I buy them at Target. So that is those two drawer units. I won't have to go through those when I do my in-depth tour. Here's my work desk. The screen's just turned off. Thank God, because I was shopping. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's my work desk. I have a three-hole punch there, my Canon selfie. That's just a box. I have my wide format um, Canon printer there. Um, let's see what else I can show you. There's Teddy Roosevelt dressed up as a Washington national. Um, there's a little character caricature of Stu and I. Here's just some artwork I like. And there's Teddy up there. He's my favorite president and I have an American flag. Here's where I keep my cameo sheets. They just hang up like that. Okay. Let's go around this away. This is my wall of Alex drawers. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are eleven of the five drawer units and three of the nine drawer units that sit there. And I can't go through all of those drawers in this video, but I will in the next one. But um, that is my wall of Alex cubes. If you come here, 
That is a file cabinet that I keep eight and a half by 11. I have another wooden box. That one holds kits. Here's how I keep my paper that are in collections. My paper that's in collections. Um, I keep them in these little folders like that so the collection is all together and then I put them back in there there is a organizational structure to this I won't go into it but there is but I like to flip through my paper this way like a file cabinet and so Shelly gave me the idea of buying these cubes turning them on their side and using them as file files for my collection paper okay over here, you see three bins there. I don't know what that is. I keep a box here that has all of my finished layouts in it that need to go in binders. My Copics are under there. Everything else in that is cleaning supplies when I do mixed media and things like that. This shelf here includes all of my paper that I can't put in a collection because I only have like one sheet of it or two sheets of it. So I won't put it in a collection. I put it there by color. And then I have four Roscoff carts here, and that holds all of my mixed media, um, all of my bases, um, my, my paintbrushes, my markers, there's my heat gun, stamping supplies, extra adhesive, all of those neat little things that you would reach for while you're scrapping is in these Roscoff carts behind me. So where I scrap, this is right behind me. And then I have stamp pads in these cassette holders, and then that's the way I keep all of my stencils. So all of my stencils are hanging on that pegboard. And then if you look at my other Expedit, there are a lot of those plastic containers. That's all my embellishments that are themed. So all of the embellishments that are themed. So there's Christmas, there's, you know, summer uh, what else is up there? Like, And then all of my embellishments that just go by color, they have bins too. So purple, pink, they all have a bin. And my embellishments that don't fit into a theme so much, but more of a color, they have bins as well. Up there is a bunch of bins that I'm working on a project. And they're just going to sit there until I'm done the project. And then all my thickers are in these five cubbies here in these little old... Um, Ikea doesn't make these anymore, but two of them fit in these shelves, which is awesome. They might make something similar now, but I haven't found these uh, when, I've gone to tar when I've gone to Ikea lately. So um, all my thickers are in those by color. If you pull away from that Expedit unit and those Roscoff carts, in the middle of my scrap room, um, on the other side, is this island. And I made this island out of recollection cubes, and if you see that black line that runs across those four recollection cubes there, that's a heavy plated glass that sits there. So glass is great because I can mess it up and clean it up. I don't um, do scrapbooking videos with the glass because it glares, but I have the glass there. And then this is how I shoot my videos. I have that T stand or L stand or whatever you want to call it. And my camera sits on top of that and my lights also come off of that. You can see them there. And then this is my little camera stand. My camera goes up there and I scrapbook standing up right there. Stu needs to build me a wooden stand for this because it needed to be raised a little bit and I put Reader's Digest condensed books under there. I keep those because I use them for art journaling but um, as you can see I have plenty and I just use them under there. I have three of these <laughs> I can't reach it. Three of these rotating. Um, this is the tools that I go for all the time while I'm scrapbooking. Up there are all markers. My rulers are up there and things like that. This is my scrapbooking space. There's where I put that other container. I keep that there and I put trash in it. Here, um, I went through all of my paper. I put my hands on every piece of paper I have in my room, and this is the ugliest one. And it's funny because I said it's the ugliest one because it looks like I used it, but I didn't. I cut stars out of it, but I've never used it. Um, the, those stars are in my scraps. This is the ugliest paper I own. I'm sorry, Authentique, but this is it. 
Um, this is a piece of paper that I pulled out because I saw someone on YouTube do something so cool with a paper that looked like this. So I pulled it out because I want to mirror that. And then I have a cash drawer here, old wood, my favorite. And I just keep a miscellaneous embellishments in there that I think I might use. So that's that. This is my February kit that Shelly put together for me. And there's another video that's coming about that. And then we'll go through the tops of these cabinets and then we'll be done. So on top of here, I have a little jar that I keep money in. There's not a lot in there because most of my change goes upstairs. But if I find it like in the laundry room or something, I stick it in there. These are all flowers that my kids painted and I, it goes in this little, um, with the floral foam in this little basket. So I kept all of them. Here are my two typewriters. I have a third typewriter in my laundry room that's very old, but this, and sometimes I pull it out and use it, but this does a great job, this We Are Memory Keepers um, typewriter. So most of the time I just use that. I do have an electric typewriter right there as well. Up here on this Alex cube, I have all my sequins in these what look like test tubes. My husband bought these for me. Um, they had spices in them when he bought, and I'm a big science geek, so uh, my office upstairs is all filled with science geeky stuff. But, uh, so these have all my sequins in them, and that's cool. There's one of the last layouts I made. I keep it up there just to put it on display. And then I have this little chalk easel thing that doesn't have anything written on it. I have more, um, oh well, wait. Here are fabric, um, these are fat quarter fabrics, and most of the time I'm using those on scrapbook pages and not to sew. And then I have some more of these cassette tape holders that have ink in them, and I really need to pare down on my ink. And then you guys have seen these before in my scrapbook tours. I have these, they're from Home Depot, and they keep all of my tiny embellishments. There's eyelets in there, there's beads in there. Um, everything, little tiny wood veneers, um, seashells sea and things like that are kept in there. And then I have another little workstation here. Here's a sneak peek at a scrapbook page I'm going to upload. But um, I have this other little workspace here and this has my Caterpillar Pro, my Big Shot and my Cinch on it. Right there I have a step stool because I'm short and I need it to reach all of the things. Here is the space where I scrapbook that you've seen already. And that's it. That is my room. So I will go through um, all the drawers in a later video and we'll upload them. But for now, that is the room. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you next time.